So, um, before we get into Summer Games Fest, let's uh, let's talk about Miss Marvel, you guys. Holy shit. It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh God, where is he going to go? <laughs> It's a it's a teen Disney Channel show. It, bah, 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 okay, yeah. like that's Welcome what this to is. The Disney Channel. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. You it's, know what I mean? Th- it's I mean, quirky. It's got weird animations. It's like, who am I? It's lit like shit. You know, like, well, I think yeah, I think like it gives off a. It gives me that very much like beginning of like a teen high school movie where everything is like written in. If you, I just, you know. How, Bring. You know how you know how Step Brothers starts, <laughs> where like things are kind of like started to be drawn in and shit like that, or whatever on some paper. Yeah, like you know where it's like the little crinkly things, and then you got a lot of like the Into the Spider Verse esque yes. incorporations yeah. of yes. the world, which is cool. Um, I definitely didn't think it was going to be for like this kind of younger. It's definitely for like for a younger, younger generation, yeah, which is fine, which is cool. But I mean, like I like the, I like the you know the concept of being like this is where you know, quote unquote, normal people in the Avengers world are mm-hmm. into the fandom of the Avengers. So it's like yeah. a nice little parallel to like us. And, you know, she's listening to a podcast and she's making YouTube videos. And I was like, look, that's what we're doing about Marvel shit. Yeah. too. Like, she's one of us. Play about us. Is this play about <laughs> is this us? Play about us? <laughs> um, Pat, you don't watch Euphoria. Shut up. <laughs> you don't funny. get to make the reference. <laughs> it's just funny. I know. Shut the it, fuck up, like bitch. the one part when they were at Avengers Con when they showed up, even I was like, I would go to this. Right? Like, <laughs> I was also I was like, because I I live in Jersey City and it takes place in Jersey City. <laughs> None of that's in Jersey City, <laughs> dude. That is not Jersey City that I've ever seen in my life. They did shoot some stuff there. I know they shot and, a couple things, and there, they but... shot um, uh, they shot the new. The Marvels is that that's what it's called. Yeah, is like the new Captain Marvel movie. They shot a bunch of stuff there too. Yeah, but uh, I'm I like, wonder what that Jersey City is gonna look when, like. When I hope he, it actually looks like Jersey City and not when this. she comes out of her house. I was like, oh, she has a yard and a parking, like you know, and a driveway. Huh. Like she's a millionaire in Jersey City, and then she's driving up the water, seeing New York. I was like, none of that. I was like, you might be down in Bayonne. <laughs> You're not like anywhere near Jersey City here, but. They should let her out in Jersey City with a hidden camera and see if she survives. <laughs> She'll make it. She'll make it. She's Miss Marvel. Um, Overall, they're, they're, like, oh, it's just for it's episode for, one. Like I would feel bad shitting on this when I know it's for children. You know what I mean? Like this is not meant for me, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. So I'm very okay with that. I'm just like, like I said, I'm tired with the Disney shows already. Like, I didn't know that this one started while we're in the middle of another one that just took a fucking nosedive this week. Um, and then off the tails of Moon Knight. Like, off you know, the tails of Midnight. Midnight. <laughs> yeah, because it was mid the entire time. Oh, come on. Moon Knight was fine. <laughs> Midnight was mid. <laughs> that shit was mid. And that's the other thing, too, is like Stranger Things and The Boys is back on right now. And like, you're seeing what television that like takes its time and follows its characters and gives like the appropriate amount of scene. Like Amazon's like, we'll do a full fucking 10 seasons of the boys. If we have to, uh, stranger things, they are, they're padding out time, right? (laughs) To make sure that like they can keep doing more. Um, and, uh, what's it called? And people are seeing these and like, Oh, I forgot what good streaming television is. You know I, what I mean? I mean yeah. I, As I, opposed to like Disney Plus right now. And it's just like Disney, like stop making them six episodes. Like stop making them limited series. Like make a show. You know what right, I mean? Like, like, like Mandalorian. Like commit. Yeah. Like, commit. Well, that's the thing. I think that's actually a really good point before I'll get back into Miss Marvel is like when you're saying like we're going to do this thing that's a small spinoff and a small subset of just this character and you know it's going to be five to eight episodes. Mm-hmm. You kind of immediately like don't have that investment as you would if it's like something that might be longer, it might come back for season two or just, it has, it has a weight to it when you actually like, don't just set it up as a little mini series. But honestly, for Miss Marvel, um, I was pretty happy. I think it's one of the better, like Disney spinoff kind of things. Like mm-hmm. just at least for like, yeah, it's it shot like a little bit weird. And like, the, it's definitely meant to be, it's definitely a lower budget. It's sure. definitely a lower budget, but they make it work. And yeah, it, it's meant to look 
you know, more silly, silly, whimsical, whimsical. But I mean, from like a writing perspective, from a like setup and everything, I was like, I thought everything it's was just, really, really fun, like pretty yeah, good. It's above board, but it's just for kids. And that's why it's above board. You know what I mean? There's not there's nothing for me to like really chew on. There's no ideas for me to like concept. Not that I'm some introspective <laughs> analytical know. philosopher when it comes to fucking Disney plus shows. But like, but I I'm don't, just saying like. Even Moon Knight had something interesting when it came to having the DID, you know? Yeah, but I don't... I think that works for this. Like, to, for me, at least, I think it works for it in being that, you know, it's like, okay, we're not going to try and do some stupid, weird, I'd complicated thing. I feel bad thing. punching down, okay? Like, like I, I, mean, I, I don't want to shit on these kids. I would say it's punching down, honestly. It is, like, it is. I, I don't... I disagree. Children are inherently beneath adults <laughs> in society, Mike. That just needs to be Talking said. Talking about on caliber of what it's released with. You know, we're not getting a weird fucking, like, I'm, you know, going through the Egyptian death gods field of wheat. Okay, with yeah. With two of me. Like, you know, when you get to that shit, I'm like, that is... You know, like, you are doing this for the sake of being over the top, almost. Oh, you think so? Oh, you think so? <laughs> okay. This is really like I feel it's really self-aware, and it's like this is where we are. I know where it is, and we're gonna at least for now. I'm gonna stay within this box of it, and I'm glad they did that. Okay. What um, about you, Jess? Um, I guess I didn't really realize that it was for kids until I watched it because, I mean, even though she is a kid, doesn't mean that like it's for kids. It's for kids, like, but it absolutely is for kids. I don't think it's necessarily so. for kids, but it's accessible they to children. They haven't, they haven't dropped, yeah. they haven't then, dropped a heavy enough bomb yet. I don't right, right, exactly. That's because for just in the first episode, like not a lot really happened. Like the villain is her parents, and uh, yeah, you know, um, right. it's the classic. Like and everything was like so dramatic like oh my god I, i'm oh, not allowed to go to mom. this convention yeah like nobody understands me it was very it was actually a lot like turning red um yeah right yeah it's kind of like the same kind of thing i mean i'm willing to give it a chance and just see like where it's going because you saw um can i like say yeah the, you the can post credit thing there was there's like, a post credit thing yeah, yeah. oh you shut it off <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> yeah, well, I, I I literally went to shut it off, and I was like, "Why is there six minutes left of this?" Yeah. Episode? Okay. Well, go on. What what's the? Uh, go ahead, Jess. There is just um, I guess some like government organization that finds out about her, like saw the video of her at the convention and said, "Bring her in." Yeah, it's not. It's not so much of like a like a, a teaser or anything. It's just kind yeah. of like who's the, the government organization? It doesn't say. Oh, oh the U.S. Oh, 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 damage you know. uh, Department of Damage Control. Oh, damage Control. Damage really control, interesting it, yeah. that they're bringing them in. Okay. Uh, so you introduce two characters. One is clearly who um, was in Spider Man No Way Home, and is another is Deaver, who is Alyssa Rayner from Orange Is the New Black. Mm -hmm. Um. But it's pretty much just like, hey, you see this shit? And she's like, I never saw a power like that before. Yeah, bring her in. So. You're introducing what the conflict will be. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's cool. It's I, I do think it's got potential where it's she They're becomes, talking about maybe maybe she might be a part of the Young Avengers coming up. I was about to so say wait, she gets her powers from the bangle, right? Yeah. OK. And the, I'm guessing we're going to learn more about that. But she's not like a stretchy like, whoa, so. right? No, like, it's, it's like a projected yeah. thing yeah. from that. It's not like, yeah. But I, I think it's cool because I was I was. Like, as I'm watching it, I was like, yeah, everybody's really young in this. And then I was like, well, everybody else is really old in the Avengers now. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, you know. Yeah. So we do need that everybody young. Need or just, yeah. yeah. There yeah. is nobody left in the Avengers that is in their 30s. Under 40 at this point. Yeah. Like, Damn, that And that's sucks. the whole thing. Like, they've been, you know, with Hawkeye, he was like, I'm old and deaf. Like, yeah, that was the entire premise of There's going to be, like, in, I'm going to be that guy in 10 years, like, 15 years is going to be like. I remember when the MCU and the real Avengers were around. <laughs> it kind of seems like um, each original character is kind of getting set up with like a younger version to right. kind of pass the torch along. Um, and then also there's not really a lot of like fun, goofy characters left. Like that was Spider-Man before, but he watched his whole family die. So now he's like a little... Uh, <laughs> He's not he's, as goofy he, yeah, anymore. Ned, Ned is still goofy. He had to become a man real quick. Yeah, so. to grow up. Um, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> life comes at you fast. Hey man, when everybody yeah. forgets who you are. You got to be ready for it. Um, 